Welcome back. In this video, we have an exciting topic to discuss webhooks in Pabli Connect. So if you're not familiar with webhooks, don't worry, I'll explain everything and also show you how you can use webhooks inside Pabli Connect effectively. First, let's discuss what webhooks are. So guys, webhooks are a way for different applications or services to communicate or transfer data with each other in real time. So they act they work like notifications that acts on a specific event. Now guys, let's see how you can use webhooks inside Pabli Connect. So in Pabli Connect, webhooks are used for seamlessly integrating various different applications inside the automation workflows. So let us discuss it furthermore with an example. So first of all, let's create a workflow by clicking on this create workflow button from Pabli Connect's dashboard. And here you can give a suitable name to your workflow and then click on create. So I have given the name. Now I'm clicking on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up. And from this page guys, first of all, you need to select your trigger and then the action. So trigger is going to start the workflow and the action would be an automated consequence of the trigger. Okay. So here we need to choose the trigger application in which the trigger event is occurring. So here guys, you can see we have this webhook option available. Okay. So we have many applications already present in the listed applications of Pabli Connect that you can use directly from here using the logos and here webhook can be used for any application, whether it is listed or not listed inside this trigger section. Okay. So I am choosing webhook option here. And as I'm going to choose webhook by Pabli, it will give me this webhook URL. So this is the URL that we are going to use for getting the data or sending the data. Okay. So here guys, I am, uh, let's say with the help of this webhook, URL, I want to connect with JotForm application. JotForm is already listed, but we are going to use this for connection. Here guys, you need to go to your JotForm applications dashboard first, and you have to choose the form which, is, which you are using to uh, collect something, collect the data from anywhere. And here you have to click on the form settings. So this is the form I'm using. And here is the settings option. All right. And under form settings, guys, you will see this page and here on the left hand side panel, you will find this integrations option. Click. All right. And under integrations page, you can search for webhooks option in the search bar, search for webhooks and it will appear here. And here you can see uh, this window and here it is. Uh, it is written webhook is helping you send submissions to your endpoint. And here you have to paste the endpoint URL or the webhook URL. So guys, when you paste the webhook URL here, the form submissions data will be sent to that URL. Okay. So this is how we are going to capture the data of the form submission in our workflow. So guys, first of all, you can just copy this URL. And here you can see it started showing waiting for the response of this connection. So I have copied it and now I'm going to paste this here in this add webhook field. Let me just erase this. Okay. And then click on complete integration button. And you can see the integration is getting ready. So the integration is ready. Now you can click on finish. All right. So here we have integrated jot form with the help of this webhook URL. Now guys, we can capture the data of a form submission. So form submission is a specific event on which we are going to get the data from jot form to here in this workflow. Okay. So I am opening the form. This is the form. Let me just fill in some demo details here. I am filling the name of the person as demo. Last name is name. Here's the email address. Let me fill the number. Okay, so let me just, so I have filled the, uh, this information. I have attached a PNG file as well. And here I'm clicking on submit and you can see the form submission has been received. Okay. Now let's see in our workflow, if we got the data and here you can see guys in the response section, we have received the data 
from JotForm's form. You can see here it is showing the submission ID, the form ID, the IP address, the form's title, and here in the pretty uh, label, here we have the data in this format, and when you scroll down, you will get the data in separate labels as well. So the first name label is here, demo is the first name, last name was name, email address, phone number, and the link of the file that I have, the name of the file I have attached, and you will get the link of the file as well. You can see in this, uh, upload your zero label, okay. So this is how we can capture the data from any application that you want. So this is one way of uh, 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 getting the data from JotForm. You can use this way in many different applications and there are sections in every application where you can use this webhook URL to connect it, okay? Right. And now guys, after receiving the data, you can send this data to any other application that you are connecting here in this action window, okay? And let's say if for any reason, due to any technical reason, the webhook URL is not working, okay? And the workflow is not running. So what you can do to check if it is working or not, what you can do here, you just have to copy the uh, webhook URL and then click on recapture click on yes and it will start showing waiting for response again. Now just to check if it is working or not, what you can do, you can just open a new tab, paste the URL here in the top, top search bar and in the top search bar after this PC, okay, what you can do, you can just put a question mark, question mark sign like this and here guys after this question mark, you can uh, create some key value pairs that you can fetch in the response of the workflow. How you can create the key value pairs, let, uh, let's say that the first key is the name and after that put equals to sign and here let me give the name as uh, Akib, that is my name, okay? And if you, if you want to add something, uh, let me just give a space and let me type my full name, Akib Javed is my full name and I want to send, I want to receive the age of my, me, okay, so I'm putting a question, uh, end sign, and I'm going to create another key, which is age, and I'm going to put equals to, and I'm going to put the age as this, okay. So we have created two key value pairs here. First is the name, other is the age, okay. Now what you can do, you just have to uh, press enter like this. And here you can see the status is success, messages, response, accepted. Okay, so let us let me show you in the workflow if we receive these two key value pairs in the response or not. And here you can see guys, in this response we have received two labels. First is the name label in which I have received my name. Other is the age label in which I have received the age. Okay, so this is how it is going to uh, work when you want to check if it is working properly or not. So this is the endpoint webhook URL work to receive or send the data. So you can use it for uh, creating workflows according to your need. And this is how webhooks work inside Public Connect. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video. And please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, Please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.